Had a little sprinkles this morning. Not really anything, just enough to wet the concrete, I guess. But uh, let's see what the radar's looking like. So you can see that blue dot there's where we are. Not really showing much. I mean, maybe a quick shower can roll through. Man, if we don't get the rain that they're calling for, we could be in the field in a few days. And that'd be nice. It's pretty nice out right now, other than the overcast and rain they're calling for. It's 70 degrees. A little breezy, but not too bad. I'm gonna go get a load of uh, road pack so we can do some more shaping up here around the shop. I gotta lower this seat all the way to the ground because I'm just a super trucker. Yeah, the rain's kinda quit here for a little bit, so I'm gonna go get a load of road pack and uh, dump it somewhere here at the farm. Kinda hard to grab gears in this truck. I guess you just push the pedal to the floor. Well, we're here in the quarry. Before I pull in, I better unroll the tarp. So, before I go back and get a load, I gotta grab an empty weight first over there on the scales. You're supposed to grab an empty weight every seven days. So, let's say I grab an empty weight today, I could haul seven days without having to grab another one, but after that, seven days is up better get an empty weight so I'm making my way to the scales over there so I can grab an empty weight and go get a load so when I get up here uh, they're gonna ask me for truck name and number and uh, she'll take my weight and then I'll go get a load truck name and number uh, Windling Farms truck one what are you getting today uh, road pack Okay, I gotcha. Thank you. So he's got a scale on his bucket, so he knows pretty much how much he's putting on me. And uh, it's been a while since I've been here, and there is not much rock here. Uh, this pile of road pack, used to be all that area right there was just full of rock and uh, well it's empty now so wonder what's going on rock shortage busy a lot of people honk good yep gave me the double honk so I'm loaded down and uh, I'm gonna weigh out now and take her to the farm Farms truck one and now I will grab my ticket to head out of here so I told him I wanted 22 ton and he loaded me 22.34 so I'd say that's pretty darn good the scales are pretty accurate on his bucket it up okay gotta back her up <laughs> open up the tailgate put this in drive Engage your PTO, put it back in neutral, and now I raise the bed.
the latch tailgate. Beds all the way down, I can put this back to neutral. And that's it. Well, there ain't much to it. I'm gonna grab a couple more loads. I need to get a load of uh, CM11, which is basically clean uh, three quarter. I'm gonna dump it right in front of this pile. And uh, then I gotta haul another load for a neighbor. So whenever I put this down, the lower, it automatically disengages my PTO. I'm really not a huge fan of dump work because, I don't know, that bed way up in the air like that, I don't know, it just makes me a little bit nervous sometimes. I've seen some videos of them falling over and it doesn't look very fun. Well, the wind seems to be picking up and uh, it rained a little bit, probably 20 minutes ago. It's not section moving in. I apologize about the wind. Nothing really I can do. I guess maybe get a different microphone, but it is what it is. I guess we'll wait out in the storm and see what happens. So yesterday I uh, had about an inch of rain total and uh, today's 55 degrees, about 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, it won't take too long to dry up, but weather like this, although I wish it was warmer, which was about 75 degrees. Um, not a whole lot going on today. I've been working around the shop this morning in the office area and uh, Berkey's texted me. We took a mower up there a couple days ago and it's done now. There was a light on the on the dash. It said in the manual to see your dealer when that light comes on so we saw our dealer and took it up there so the mower's done. I'm heading up there to get it right now. Yeah I think dad's moving some rock around at the farm. Just kind of waiting for the dirt to dry up so we can start planting. Kind of running out of things to do. That's all taken care of, and now I'm gonna go unhook this trailer and see what dad's up to. So the reason that mower was up there was they had to do a forced regen on it 
Gosh, don't you just love emissions? Well, he's getting everything kind of situated out in front of this pad and whatnot. I'm gonna take the pressure washer and uh, kind of rinse everything off. They kind of left some marks uh, where they did the saw joints the other day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse everything off and uh, we'll see how it goes. a lot better now now that we got the gravel up to the concrete because they pulled the forms off earlier and uh, flattened it out a little more looking pretty good we've uh, added a couple of things here in the office we still got to wait about three more days before we can pull a pickup truck across it or something like that and then I'd say about eight or nine more days before we can pull anything heavy on it well, that'll be it for this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.